Hello, yep, it's me, Jenny B, and I wanted to play with this McCart kit I got a few months ago, but then I damaged my nails and I couldn't. So they're still not gonna be played with on mine, but I have a fake hand and a fake little finger, so we'll see which one I play with today. But let's open up this McCart nail extension gel kit, nail builder enhancement system. So let's see what we got in here. Here we go. So we're in the frame, sort of. Okay, so it has the instruction pamphlet, as usual. So put that aside. It has nail forms, a top coat, and a base coat. Just take everything out. And it has some gels. So we have clear, blush, rose, pink, watermelon and misty rose Pretty. so let's use watermelon and pink i'm going to take out the rest it does have a brush so just plain brush one side because it is gel ah nail file mccart 100 180 grits put the rest aside and let's see I do have this hand so let's see if I can make that work because it has an attachment here but I don't know where to attach it let's see I'm gonna set the hand up and I'll be right with you. okay I think I got my hand situated we will play with this. I have a little bit of alcohol in here just to make sure my brush is okay. So I'm just going to make sure to get any stuff off the brush. I'm just dipping it into the alcohol. And don't mind me hand. And wiping it off. That's all I'm doing. So I have a paper towel set aside just in case. My lamp, as always, is there. I am going to just buff the top of the nail to prepare it. We're still in frame. Sorry, you moved a bit. I'm just going to use the paper towel and dust it off. We will prep and prime with the Enel Couture dehydrator. There we go. And the primer. I mean, it's a plastic nail, but you know, we'll just go through the motions. There we go. So let's, ooh, perfect. Nice little nozzle on both. So that's great. I'll just use, not that I need to open more forms, but and get these out. Just gonna get two. Okay, and rip the back. So I don't need the back. Well, it's just yeah, that's fine. Put them back. So I am going to use my base coat and prep the two nails. just put a nice base coat and we're gonna extend her beautiful natural nails out a little bit so I'm gonna put it under the lamp this should be interesting oh here it is so I'm gonna put it under the lamp just like this 
that'll work better. And 30 seconds should do it. Those two nails are cured now. So let's see if I can put on the forms. This should be interesting. So I'm going to just take that little thing off the sticker, put it on the back for more support as I glue everything. There we go. Look at that. Make it a little circle. Work with me. Work with me. Okay. Well, that's not as bad as I thought. Let's see if that'll work for me. Oh, maybe not. I should have flipped it down. Well, when I do that, we'll figure it out. Okay, that's going to be interesting, but we'll see. So, I'm going to angle myself to the side a little bit. Make sure you're in focus. Yeah, you can sort of see. So I'm just going to that's not working. Okay. So I'm going to take this and just put a little bit on the edge and work it in. Ooh. Looks like a pretty color. We're doing it on. Get this. And just kind of work it. Let's see what I can do. It's been a while since I played with gel and on. I've never played with this fake hand. Probably make sure to put just like a base coat. I'm going to have to hold that. It's easier on human fingers, I do have to say. Go all the way up. Let's see. Bring it down a little bit, but I want to see if I can put that other color down there. Might as well play since it's a fake finger and I don't care about messing it up. A little bit more in there and this is the pink color I want to put watermelon down there I think and I do like the gel in the tube I know that's why I originally got it it's not gonna be gel next year when I play with it on my fingers again but that's okay so I'm going to cure this. For 60 seconds. I'm going to just hold it there to make sure that it doesn't do something weird because that paper does not want to stay on there. So I'm going to hold this and we'll see where we come. Extended her little nail. Weird little pieces. There we go. Bad, not bad. So I'm going to take the file. Mix 
clean up the edges a little bit now. Okay, just cleaned it up a little bit with the file it came with the kit. Um, I'm going to take the other color, then this is watermelon. Put that. Ooh, that comes out thicker. That's weird. Sorry, I'm blocking it. There we go. I'm just going to put some here. Point her down a bit. And then I'm going to gently move it around. Drag it forward. See if we can even that out a bit. This brush is cute. With the, I like the little black crystals in the handle. That's nice. Put a little bit more pink here. And kind of mix it, kind of ombre it. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, not bad, not bad. It mixes very well. Darker. Well, I don't want to flood the cuticle. So let's see if I can remedy that. Am I messing it up? Probably. Not too shabby. Been a while. And I'm still practicing. Just looking down the from here down to see if I can 
see a better shape in there or see what kind of shape I have. Okay, I'm gonna let it settle for a minute. Let's stop playing with it. Let's see if that does anything. Because gel can self level, which is nice from what I hear. If you have any tips, as always, put them in the comments below. I can take constructive criticism. And plus, this is a big hand. It's here to practice, right? So I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to do this for. <coughs> Woo wee! Excuse me. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do this, cure it for 120 seconds, and we'll do that. Should be cured. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to, oh, use my little alcohol and wipe that guy off. Okay, let's file him. Oops. So it's, let me bring the fingertip up. That's what it's looking like so far. It's a little flat. It can use an extra curve right in here. So let's see if I can do that. So obviously I'm not gonna do two fingers today. I'm just gonna do the one. I'm gonna adjust the hand one more time, see if I can get it to be in here without moving my tripod. So I will be adjusting and we'll see where we can figure it out. Okay, so I think this'll work. Let me get more of the watermelon color. I'm just going to put it here. Comes off. These are pretty pinks. Let me see if I can thicken up here with a bit. Yep, I'm turning the hand over, <laughs> or the fingertip, Let's see. See, I'm trying to look straight down into it, but it's still a funky shape.
little bit more. Looking straight down into it again with a little bit more product. Now it just looks like there's a growth there, but at least I'm getting a shape drag it down a little bit maybe more of the other pink Nice and lumpy, you know, that's how everybody likes their nails, right? Ugh. Take it off so I can look at it better. I feel like there's more support to the nail, I don't know. Down the shaft, it's a little lumpy. Let's see if this will work any. I'm gonna hold this down up here for a few seconds. Okay, time to cure that little bad boy, and we'll file again. So I just took the fingertip off. Oh, here's my shape. Not too bad. A little. Oh, there's the down the tip. The side. Room for improvement, but 
Not bad, not bad. I feel like it would be pretty sturdy overall. Hard to tell. It seems pretty strong. Like it needs a little bit more, like right in there. But not too bad. Looks like it's on there pretty well. So there we go. Let me know what you think. If you have any tips, please put them down below. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bar so you can be the notification bell. So you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Thank you for joining me once again while I practice my, my gel application. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Looks like it would be sturdy. I may have some breakage. So give me your advice. Thank you so much. See you next time. Toodaloo.